Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. As the king of the ring, I'm serving notice to every one of the superstars. They're all on the list, and I'm fixing to start running through all of them. Steve Austin's time has come, and that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. Oh, wait a minute, look at that! Cheap shot! Oh, oh, Stone Cold starter! Oh, come there on. you go. Come on! Stone Cold is the best there is. As Stone Cold continued to scratch names off his superstar hit list, there was one name that had eluded Austin's sights. I'd like to use this chance to issue a challenge against one Bret the Hitman Hart. Bret Hart had been absent for the dawn of 316 and the man who had been raising hell all over WWE. If you put the letter S in front of Hitman, you've had my exact opinion of Bret Hart. I'm the best there is. I don't pay attention to a lot of talk. I'm the best there was. Especially when it comes from you. And I'm the best there ever will be. The hitman found himself in unfamiliar territory, the crosshairs of the Texas rattlesnake. The one thing that's been missing has been me. But the excellence of execution has never been one to back down from a challenge. In the Survivor Series, I will face Stone Cold Steve Austin. You're never gonna get through with Stone Cold Steve Austin. You're gonna have to kill me first, son, and that's the bottom line, and it's the truth. And if I can beat Stone Cold, then I will beat Stone Cold. The rest is easy pickings for the hitman. Son, if you think Stone Cold Steve Austin is a stepping stone, We'll watch the first step, cause it's a doozy. Will Bret Hart be able to prove once and for all that he is the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be? We'll see who kicks whose ass. Or will Austin 316 stomp the hitman into exile? You ain't got what it takes anymore. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Coming down the aisle from Victoria, Texas, weighing 250 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And ladies and gentlemen, here it comes. The man who could unquestionably spoil the comeback attempt of Bret the Hitman Hart. You talk about qualifications, King. This man, Stone Cold Steve Austin, could ruin Bret the Hitman Hart's career. You know, JR, I saw Steve Austin a few years ago in the Sportatorium down in Dallas, Texas. And you could see the greatness, the potential greatness. It's all about attitude, then and now. An attitude, I might add, that is somewhat appreciated by this capacity crowd. And his opponent, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing 234 pounds, right. The hitman, Bret Hart, looking to electrify this capacity crowd. And everyone, and I mean everyone, are on their feet. Well, he's back. He ain't no clown. He ain't no trash man. He's a fierce competitor. And so is Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's what it's all about, JR. Wrestling, competition, intensity, athleticism, and drama. And we're going to experience it all in this one match here tonight. Well, this shouldn't be quite the contest, Jerry. Stone Cold Steve Austin, Bret the Hitman Hart, finally going to meet one-on-one. -on -one. This is a rivalry that has been brewing for several weeks now. Well, you're right about that, JR. A long time coming, and it's finally here. Stone Cold Steve Austin, the rattlesnake, going against the best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. This should be great. Bret the Hitman Hart, the consummate wrestler, scientific, 
fundamentally sound. Austin likes to brawl. Oh, likes oh to, yeah. Likes to fight. Oh, look at this. Look at this stare down. Are either one of these guys going to be intimidated, JR? I don't think so. Austin trying to get into Hart's head. I don't think that's going to happen. From oh, the look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you're number one in the heart of Stone Cold through Boston. Here they go. The black heart of the Texan. Bottom no elbow tie up. And it's Brett the Hitman Hart. Well, had the advantage momentarily. Austin now reverses it. Referee asks for a clean break. Whoa. Uh-oh. I wouldn't want to be the referee in this match, would you, JR? Absolutely not. Uh-oh. I think Timbers are going to flare really quick. Well, the, the tension. You can feel the tension when these men came to the ring. You knew this was going to be special. What if Stone Cold Steve Austin used the sharpshooter to make Bret Hart submit? Oh, oh my gosh! Steve Austin making his statement as we speak. Two. Steve Austin has really gained some ground here with this prodigious offense. Oh man, how much damage did that cause to the neck? Well, no one ever said that Stone Cold has class, and he will do anything, and folks, I mean anything, to intimidate an opponent. I'm not so sure Bret Hart can be intimidated by anyone. He can be intimidated, JR, but that's not the issue here. The issue is how much ring rust does Bret Hart possess? Time is a great equalizer, King. Yeah, JR, so we'll see how long it'll take Bret to get back in that groove, to get all his timing back. You can train in the gym all you want, but this is where it counts, right here. That was a ton of velocity. Well, no one ever said the Stone Cold has class, and he will do anything. And folks, I mean anything. Look at this, Stone Cold Steve Austin thinks he's in charge here, JR. Yeah, but I think that Bret oh. Hart's got other ideas. Hart trying to get control of the match now. Oh, Bret Hart going for another Bulldog. But Ross lost the counters. Oh. There's Hart sturdled first into the turnbuckle. Oh man, look at this, JR, both men down. You can almost see the air rush out of Bret's body. Now, Austin needs to capitalize here. You're right, another high impact. Austin should go for the lungs, the back, dry the air out of him. I don't care how much training you've been undergoing. There's nothing like taking punishment. There's no training that's going to prepare you for this kind of physicality. Dodges out of the way. Boom! Small tackle. This could be it. In his statement as we speak. When he gets going like this, there are few better. Whoa. Steve Austin now being set up by Two. the hitman. Well, Bret Hart is battled and he's been pummeled, but now Bret Hart is on the offense. Three. Time will tell if the hitman has the strength, conditioning, and perseverance to finish Stone Cold off. And now he goes for it for a second time. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Oh, the hitman Bret Hart has met his match, Three. JR. You're right, King. Steve Austin has proven tonight that the rattlesnake is a lot more than a schoolyard bully. Well, he punished the hitman's upper body early, oh. and he's been relentless despite Bret Hart kicking out so often. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. Oh. This match may end right here. A hey, Luthas press followed by a flurry of right hands. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. End again. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage.
He almost got the shaft, and then bam! What a reversal! Austin, no! Incredible move by Steve Austin. And he blocked it. No, kicks out in time. Oh, there is no quit. Man, what a matchup, team. This has been physical all the way through. But I tell you, I think Stone Cold Steve Austin's got to be asking himself, what does he have to do to beat Bret Hart? Can he do it? Oh, look at this. Austin with that version of the million-dollar dream, but it's countered by Hart. Hart's oh. shoulders down, and Bret the Hitman Hart countered Austin and pins the last snake. Hart has earned a shot now at the WWE Champion. Man, oh man, Stone Cold Steve Austin had that had that finishing maneuver locked in, but he wouldn't let go when, when Hart was on the ropes. That's what really cost him the victory. The million dollar dream cost Austin maybe a million dollars. This rivalry is far from over. I guarantee you that, my God.